Well, each week we're joined by Hope Rises to share some heartwarming stories and acts of charitable kindness. This morning, we're looking ahead to an event where teen warriors who have battled cancer will be pampered. Kate Glazer from Hope Rises is here with Ann McIntosh, the co-owner of Alchemy Wine and Beer. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Kate, tell us what is happening next week. Yeah, so on Tuesday, we will be um, honoring Kaylee's Kindness Girls. They are all either battling cancer or, or who have beat cancer. Um, we're going to have a night of pampering and just a fun introduction to summer, really celebrating them. This is our second annual Hope for Teen Warriors event. We're so excited. Amazing. Yeah, so they walk in. They walk in, uh, and what can they expect then? So uh, we're a wine bar, and many of the girls aren't of age to drink, so we'll yeah. be doing mocktails for all the uh, girls. Mm -hmm. And then if their parents choose to stay, which I hope they do, um, <laughs> we'll be offering wine and beer for the parents too. This is really special. I know you guys are typically closed on Tuesday, so you're opening up shop <laughs> yeah. and really uh, giving these girls and young women a night to experience. I mean, they have been through so much in their lives, in their short lives. Yeah, I mean, we're also going to have, you know, a hair station, massages. We're going to have a beautiful dinner for them, um, a DJ. We have these empowerment packages, so every girl walks away with a hope box, which is really sweet, and filled the, with a bunch of goodies. The dogs. The dog. We're going to have some, some oh, yes, you know. Yes, Trooper, um, right? Trooper's going to come. Yes, who yes. Was a guest a couple of weeks ago. And to us, it's about not only honoring the girls, but also remembering the girls who are not, are, are no longer with us. There are some girls that, unfortunately, have passed from cancer so we'll do a special moment for them so we've invited their family to come as well just to be there and really celebrate them as well so we're so excited and for Anne to partner with us and just completely offer her place has been so awesome and we're so appreciative I've known Kate for the last 15 years we used to work together a long time ago in a different life and uh, when she emailed me I was said That's absolutely awesome. whenever Kate calls. You both have big hearts. <laughs> really do. Now for this, you raised money and tell us how you did that. I understand there was some April Fool's uh, activity involved. Yeah, so we did the um, prank for a purpose, the unicorns on people's lawns. We actually had 14 police departments. There it is. Here they are. <laughs> departments. So those were some, on some houses, but we had 14 police and fire departments support us across the Western New York region and we brought in a lot of money. So all that money is going to throwing this event, making sure every girl walks away with a nice package, really making sure that we can also, also give a donation to Kaylee's Kindness after. So it's not just the event, but also a donation after. Uh, after. Fantastic. You always have the best ideas. And mm -hmm. you mentioned yep. the police departments. They were battling it out, <laughs> sending it to Orchard Park. I mean, it was all over the place, and it was really fun. So they had a lot of fun with it. Again, this is happening uh, next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So we uh, wish the event well, and uh, we will be thinking of you guys that night. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And stay with us. Coming up at 740 here on the CW23, we are going to be joined by a board member member of Kaylee's Kindness kind of explain what these uh, girls and young women go through on a daily basis.